Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a room in one point perspective. Alright, so for this uh, tutorial we are going to use Anime Studio Pro, but uh, this method can probably be used for any other uh, animation software or if you're just drawing it with a pen and paper. So uh, let's get started, we create a new document. Now first um, we are going to double click on this layer and we call it wall because we are going to draw a wall. So for that, no, first I pick a color and I choose this color right here and I change the line with the 2. And so I take the draw shape tool and I will draw a shape right here. There we go, like that. Then I take the transform points tool, and what you see if you do that, uh, if you take the transform points tool, you see a cross appears right here. Um, and this cross is basically the center of this object, the wall. And the other cross, the, big, the bigger cross, is actually the center of this screen. And we have to make sure that this is the center of the screen. So all we have to do is to put these two crosses uh, in front of each other. So I zoom in a little bit more for it so I can do it better. And there we go, it doesn't have to be really specific but this is good. There we go, so now this is the center of the screen which is what we want. Um, so then I will make a new layer and I will call it Ash. And these are very important for drawing the room. So what we do, we just take the add point tool, uh, select sharp sharp corners, and we just draw two lines connected to each other. And we take the paint bucket tool, and we just click on it so it becomes a black uh, line. And of course, we have to make sure that this uh, this point right here is right here at the center then what we do we just uh, take these points and we just move them like this and the other one like this so they have to cross these these corners of the wall right here that's very important so then we create a new layer and we call it wall left. And then um, we take the draw shape tool again. Oh, delete that one. Um, we use the same color as this one. And right here, at where the corner is, we just draw the object. So it's straight next to the wall. And then we have to make sure that they are... Uh, they are at the same height so if you want to make it be really sure you just have to do it like this and this is good and we also have to check it right here maybe make this one a little bit down below there we go yeah that will that will be good then we just um, select these points only uh, and then we put it right here and then I will make this one up so it gets in a straight line with this one with the ash right here there we go and same goes for this one there we go now you can already see it starts to be, uh, starts to look more like a room so now uh, just to make sure that everything is uh, straight in a straight line with each other all right that's good so now what we do is uh, we could use the ashes and do the same thing right here but all we have to do is just uh, duplicate the left wall layer and I just call it the wall 
right. And so we take uh, no, we take the transform points tool, select it, select this object, and then we click right here, and that will make it flip horizontally. And then we hold in shift and we just move it, and you get the same thing. So just to make sure everything is good, and I think it is, yes. So, oh, well, there we go. Uh, now, finally, we have to draw a ceiling and a floor, but all we have to do is just make a new layer, call it ceiling and floor, put it under the other layers, and then we just take the rectangle tool, or the draw shade tool, I'm sorry, and then we just draw a rectangle right here, so now we have drawn a room with a floor, walls, and a ceiling. So, um, now that we have done that, we are going to draw uh, some other things as well, like a table or a couch or whatever. You have to draw, uh, you can draw whatever uh, you want, um, but um, I will draw, I will start with drawing a carpet. And so what we do, we just put these right here. And then we make a new layer and we call it carpet. And I take this color right here, take the draw shade tool. And from this line right here, I'm just drawing a shape like this. And then I select these points and then I put them right here in a straight line. There we go. So now uh, I'm, I want to make a table. So I make a new layer for, for it. Uh, I'll take the draw sheet tool and I choose this color, brown. And let's just say we just draw a table that's pretty low like this and then when we have drawn this all we have to do is just put these points right here there we go and so then we just uh, select this uh, right here and what you do you click Control C or Command C if you're on Mac and then Control or Command V and then you have copied and pasted and then you hold in shift and you then you can move it in a straight line so you have to make sure that these corners are connected and then just select these points right here and then we just move them and move them just as with the carpet right here. There we go. Finally, we can draw some uh, table legs right here. So, one right here, a second one here, a bit smaller, and then we just select them and click Control C and Control V. Click this button to flip them horizontally and we just move them right here so there we go so now we have already drawn a table and a carpet so um, <clears throat> the next thing that I want to draw is a couch um, but instead of uh, just um, explaining all of it I will speed up the video and I will uh, speed it up in a way so that you can still see how it's done because I think you will understand right now how it's done. So I just speed it up so you can see, but you don't have to wait so wait so long for it. So yeah, uh, I will speed it up and I'll be back in a minute with you guys. Thank you. 
drawn the couch and uh, to make it even uh, better um, we uh, select all the points right here <clears throat> and then we take the curvature tool and then you click on it and you hold your mouse and then it, if you move to the right it, it gets more like a couch maybe correct this a bit more not too much there we go there we go, now it looks like a couch. So, um, yeah, you uh, with this you can draw anything. You can uh, draw a table, a couch, or whatever. So, for this right now I want to draw a window uh, right here. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to speed up the video again and then I'll be back. we go so it's almost done so one thing that I miss yet in this room is uh, something like a TV and a closet uh, where the TV can be put up so I'm going to do that and uh, again I will speed up the video and then I will be back There we go. <clears throat> so now we have uh, we have drawn a room, uh, I guess. So um, yeah. So anyway, um, that's how you do it. So um, what you can do is just try it out. Uh, use these ashes um, the way I did, and you can then you can draw anything. You don't you don't have to draw it like this. You can draw a closet or a door maybe or whatever. You can draw anything. Uh, by using this method. So anyway, uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, uh, leave a comment. So yeah, thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.